is a flame test. Now, the blue color that you're seeing immediately is going to be methanol burning. As the salt dissolves, you should see the various metals glowing their appropriate colors. The potassium chloride, um, well actually let's start over here with the lithium chloride. Lithium chloride is pink, strontium chloride should go to a or nice orange color as it uh, dissolves. Sodium chloride is that nice yellow, copper chloride is green, and potassium chloride you're getting a violet. Okay, you want to ignore that orangish tone that you see. The whole reason why these five different metals give off five different colors is because the uh, the metal, as the methanol burns, the methanol, uh, at, I'm sorry, as the methanol burns, the metal is gaining energy. The outside of the metal has electrons on it, and that's what's actually gaining the energy. So the electrons jump in energy level. Uh, as they fall back down uh, to their ground state, what comes up must come down, so those electrons must go back to their normal state, uh, you have to, they have to give off that energy that they gained. They can't destroy the energy. So they give off the energy in, in discrete packets, uh, very specially sized packets, that we call photons. These photons right now currently are visible to, uh, in visible light spectrum. Pink for lithium, orange for strontium, yellow for sodium, green for copper, and again, purple for potassium. The reason for the different colors is due to the different amounts of distance that the electrons fall as they go back to the ground state. Smaller distances falling mean a smaller energy light, such as the pink light of lithium. Larger distances, such as the purple light being put off by the potassium, are due to larger falls to the ground state. So the reason why these five different metals give off five different colors of light is because they have different electron configurations. And their electrons have the possibility of falling from different levels to different levels.